This is the brand new patch for Helldivers 2. Let's break it all down. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. This is a patch which focuses on game balance and also some changes to things like meteor storms. Uh, there's a lot to cover here, so let's just break it all down. This is it. Patch 1.000103. Good day, fellow Helldivers. Piping hot patch notes straight from the oven arriving. Overview. For this patch, we have implemented fixes to the Exo 45 Patriot exosuit, game stats, UI, and general stability, balance improvements for planetary hazards and patrol spawns. So this looks like it's going to be a big patch. Fixing things like the odd spawn rates, that's going to be cool. I mean, nobody likes it when an entire group of automatons just spawns in on you. So hopefully they fix that. Fixes to the exosuit as well. Yeah, hopefully we don't kill ourselves with the rocket anymore. That would be great. And also things like the meteor shower, which are super annoying when you die in that because it seems when it spawns over you, you're just going to die anyway because it's so, well, it's so devastating and it's really hard to dodge the meteorites as they come in. You can see a little shadow on the floor before it hits, but they come down so fast, it's hard to notice. And if you're in a firefight, you're just going to get killed. <laughs> so let's begin with the balance changes. So they've balanced and adjusted spawn rates for the various planet hazards, including... Tremors, meteor showers, volcanic activity, fire tornadoes, and ion storms. Hazards should now spawn less frequently during missions. This sounds cool. Also, I don't think I've ever seen volcanic activity. What? I, I don't know. Give it to me. Inject it to me. Love it. I want to be in a volcano. I probably have, but I've just missed it. <laughs> meteor shower has received the following changes in addition to reduced spawn rate. Reduced explosion radius. Okay, that's good. So the explosions are smaller. Reduced meteor damage slightly. Great, less damage. Reduced meteor velocity slightly. This is the one. The meteors slow down. At least it'll give you a chance to sort of get out of the way. Because I'm all for these dangers being in the game, by the way. But I just don't want it to be as random as they were. Uh, meteor color has been changed slightly to try and make it easier to spot. Okay, so they're actually giving us the ability to try and play around a meteor storm when it occurs over us, which is good. Volcanic activity has received the following changes in addition to reduced spawn rate. Reduced explosion radius, reduced rock velocity slightly. <laughs> Lightning on Fenrir 3 has been adjusted to be a bit less bright to improve, improve visibility during meteor showers. Good lord. Okay, so let's talk about some of the fixes that are in this patch. So this is about balance to the mech and spawns of enemies. So they have reduced incidents of patrols spawning on players. This is great because it is super immersion breaking. When you're just running around and that squad of like the 20 bots just appears on top of you, it is like, what? It is so jarring, it's not great. If the bots had some sort of teleportation mechanic, fair enough, you could maybe get away with it, but they don't. I think they're reserving that for the Illuminates when they arrive. But yeah, the bots just spawning in, it's terrible. And the Terminids do this as well, but it's not as bad because generally Terminids are most of the time spawning out of breaches, although obviously you do get patrols spawning on the map, which can just appear on top of you as a player. This is good. This is great. Good change. Nice job, Arrowhead. The next one is the exosuit no longer destroys itself when firing a missile while turning. And this is the moment when I was reading the patch notes where I broke down, fell to my knees, and I was like, thank you, Lord, because this is horrible. This kills me so many times in the mech because I know, it's, I know it was a bug. You know, I know if I turn the mech, and fire the rocket, it will hit the side of the mech and kill me. But when you're in a firefight, when you're in that extraction, when you're doing whatever, you're, you're just in the moment and you think, oh, there's a charger, I'm going to hit it with a rocket, and you fire the rocket and you die. And then you contemplate all of your life decisions. It's not great. Anyway, this apparently is fixed. We'll have to put this to the test, but this is good, good news. So good job, Arrowhead. Exosuit retains its melee functionality even when damaged. Now, I've got to admit, I very rarely use this. It stamps on the floor, which is pretty good. But when it was damaged, it would not use it. So you could stamp, stamp, stamp. But if you took a bit of damage, that was it. You couldn't use the melee anymore. But now you can. This is good for those little squishy bugs when they're all running around you. Generally, though, I just walk over them because I think that's funnier. <laughs> but good news here. Good news. This is another moment where I'm falling to my knees and going, thank the Lord, because look at this. Crash fixes for the following scenarios. Now, the game has crashed way too many times on me, and it is such a killjoy when it happens anyway when alt tabbing in full screen mode this now should be fixed i do this a lot so this is great and this has caused crashes for me after changing voice over language now i can't say this has affected me but still it's great that they've changed this and they've fixed it 
PS5 boot issue. Again, I don't play on PS5, so this hasn't affected me, but this would have been a big issue for everybody playing on PS5. Using a stim inside of an exosuit while wielding a grenade. Now, this is a weird one, because at first we thought this was just stimming inside an exosuit, but actually it was if you had the grenade equipped, got in the mech, and then used the exosuit, uh, then used the stim in the exosuit, it crashed the game. I don't ask me why, I don't know, but that's just mental. <laughs> When joining an ongoing mission, you could crash, and when idling on the title screen, you could also crash, but these have been fixed. Shots from arc-based weapons, such as Blitzer Shotgun and the ACA Arc Thrower stratagem, now count towards shots fired and shots hit stats, which is great because they didn't before, so it's nice to have those stats. Fixed network desync issue with downed automaton dropships. Uh, wow, okay. So if that's what was causing that... Maybe that's happened to me, you know, in the game. Actually, that's... I, I always enjoy reading the patch notes when they're like this because it's just, like, problems that you don't... Like, you would never connect the two things together, but they're the cause of the issue and they've been solved. Amazing. Fixed Elgato Stream Deck foot pedal support. <laughs> don't use this myself, but foot pedals would be pretty good for stratagems, maybe. In fact, I think I've seen a video of someone using a Just Dance mat for the stratagems. <laughs> maybe not as efficient as pressing keys, but, you know, still, it, it looked cool. Okay, let's break down the known issues, right? These are issues that were either introduced by this patch or are being worked on. These are not fixed, so they are still broken. Let's break it down. Various issues involving friend invites and cross-play. Cross-platform friend invites might not show up in the friends request tab. Players cannot unfriend other players befriend, befriended sorry, via the friend code. It's been an issue for a while. Players cannot unblock players that were not in their friends list beforehand Players cannot befriend players with Steam names shorter than three characters. Hellpod steering close to larger important objects is currently not functioning as intended, resulting in steering being disabled in a large area around the object. So that is a bug. That is a massive actual admission there because we thought this was a stealth nerf where they were making it so we couldn't drop on points. Actually, it's a bug. This is good acknowledgement here. Great job, Arrowhead. So get this sorted because it does feel crap when you just can't control your drop pod. Online features are not functioning when console language is set to Ukrainian. Players may be unable to select loadout when joining a multiplayer via an activity card. Um, Planet Liberation reaches 100% at the end of every defend mission. Yeah, that does, does happen, doesn't it? <laughs> I look at that and I'm like, wow, we were, the, we were the last squad to do this, but you're not. It's just a bug. Uh, drowning in deep water with a vitality booster equipped puts Helldiver in a broken state. Oh, so that's what was causing that. Oh dear. <laughs> that's when you have to ask to get put down by your team. It's like, I'm in the water, but I'm not I'm not dead. Can somebody come and put me down? Exosuits will sometimes be delivered in a damaged or broken state. But that's funny, that is, though. They should just keep that because it's like the manufacturing quality of Super Earth. It's crap. <laughs> Stratagem beam might attach itself to an enemy, but will deploy to its original location. Oh. Oh. So me running away from, like, the, the hunter with the stratagem on its head it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> what? But that's a bug. It should matter. Oh, dear. Pink artifacts may appear in the sky when setting off large explosions. Yep, that's a problem with the graphics textures, I think. Anyway, text chat box display is obstructed by the cinematic letterboxing during extraction. Yep, that's been in the game for ages. Sometimes the player loadouts customizations will reset after restarting the game. Yeah, this is annoying. Uh, also, it resets the, the zoom settings as well on weapons. Even though in the options you can set it to remember, it doesn't remember. And it does my head in because sometimes with like the, the, the ARs, like the sickle, I want to actually use it with the scope and sometimes I don't. And like, yeah, I, I pick it up, expect the scope to be there and it's not and it's like a bit of a mess. Now, I just want to throw this out here because the customer support for Helldivers 2 has been fantastic. Look at this. This is from Spitz over in the Discord server. Uh, and they say this. Earlier today, we ran through a bunch of manual progression requests and fixed locked difficulties for about 1.3 million players who hadn't been able to unlock them normally. Unfortunately, all of these manual requests caused a bit of a backup in the system that led to some hiccups in store purchases and other account features at the same time. Because of this, we're looking to push through the rest of the difficulty unlock requests tomorrow over the course of the day in smaller batches. Anyone stuck on a certain difficulty should, fingers crossed, have the issue fixed soon if it wasn't already fixed early today. Thanks, as always, for your patience. And I also want to show you guys this as well, because it's on Reddit and it's a big shout out to Arrowhead for refunding 1,000 super credits I spent on the premium bond once I got the super edition. Thanks a lot, guys. Not me personally, but the post. I've seen a couple of these posts as well. This is great. You know, people, Arrowhead are not nickel and diming the player base. They are giving you refunds when they realize you may have doubly bought stuff you didn't want. Obviously, in this case, 
this person gets back the 1,000 super credits they spent on the premium bond because they got it in the super edition. I mean, it's fine. This is really, really good. I think Arrowhead is basically set up for a pretty good support initially, I think, of Helldivers 2. It's going to be interesting to see how this develops and how they go forward. Of course, we're still waiting, I think, for a development in the major order this week. And maybe some sort of a uh, bit of new content being added to the game, potentially. But I don't want to get ahead of myself and be sitting there going like, give me content, give me orders, give it me all the time. But we do want to see what happens. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the video. And I hope you enjoyed the patch notes and the video as well. Uh, if you did, then do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below and I will catch you on the next video. See you soon.